Financial markets around the world reacted quickly to the news of the debt agreement. CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis has more on that this morning. Rebecca, good morning. Hey, Chris, good so, morning. So the global markets respond favorably upon the news last night. What does that mean here at home, though, with this stock market here in the States? The global markets as well as futures. So exactly uh, what trades outside of the open markets, those are called futures. They started trending up on news of that deal and really on hopes that the deal would take place. So things are pointing higher, but there are still great uncertainty out there. 500 points lost in the market here in yeah. the States last week alone. Assuming this deal does go through, does that mean stocks are in the clear? It doesn't. Kinda? It no? doesn't, Chris, because the reality here is that when we came to this debt situation, we were already dealing with a problem in the U.S. economy, and that problem is that overall things have not been looking good. We've talked about it from the jobs market to the housing market. The cost of borrowing looks like it's rising. Our GDP, our gross domestic product, is still not where it should be. We have very sluggish growth. It was up just 1.3 percent in the beginning of the year, and consumers, we as consumers, our spending is very weak, and that that needs to be stronger because we really uh, we, we power 70 percent of the economy with our spending. Yeah, this has affected the, the value of the dollar. How is that affecting the way consumers are actually? Well, the dollar has been crushed, really. And over the last year, it was down 20 percent. Consumers are spending more at the pump as a result of that. And they're spending more on imports as a result of that as well. All right. Rebecca Jarvis, thanks. Good to see you here this morning.